So you guys want to level up that street credit in the fastest way possible? Well that's what I bring you today. How to get to level 50 in literally minutes guys. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk be sure to subscribe. Okay so this was originally shown to me on Twitter the day after this game dropped. And it was created, the video was created by A1914 who uploaded this first so credit to him. His channel can be found linked below if you do want to check it out. So this exploit sees you easily being able to get to that max street cred level in the shortest time possible. 10, 15, 20 minutes. It just all depends on what platform you are playing on as this consists of saving and loading the game. Also I will mention, some of you will be past this point in the game and if that's the case you can't go back to it. But if and when you start a second character or even a third character, keep this in mind if you do want to level up that street cred fast. So this is how it's done. And firstly guys, make sure you have a melee weapon on you, just for backup, just in case you run out of ammo. So a sword, knife, bat, whatever. And you need to get to the point in the story where you meet the voodoo boys and placide. The mission in which you encounter these is called I Walk the Line. This is the seventh main story mission after the prologue and is unlocked directly after map 10 Palen. And this mission sees you clearing out a mall for the voodoo boys. And while to do this, that's exactly what you got to do, clear out the entire mall, kill every enemy. You then have to jack into a van. And after doing these, a few more enemies will spawn in. Make sure they are all killed. So the game takes you out that combat. And you'll see this by the minimap. If it's surrounded by red and says combat, there's an enemy still somewhere. Kill that enemy. And make sure this combat is not surrounding your map. Once you are done, you can progress on with the mission. And you will eventually get to this area where you encounter Matilda K. Rose, aka Sasquatch. Now before you start this encounter, manually save your game just in case anything messes up. Then guys, you have to take her down. Now I will state there is a great shotgun on this sofa right here as you come into this encounter which works more than amazingly to take her down, so use this if you wanna. I guess you could hack her to daze her while you land shots but that's long in my opinion. So grab the shotgun and start the fight. Now to down her it's pretty simple, let her charge and run past you, then shoot her back which is her weak spot, there's a device on her back which if you shoot it explodes and she becomes weaker, this means she's easier to down. Now once you down her do not kill her people, do not kill her. Here again create another save point just in case but don't overwrite the last one you just made. Now shifting back to earlier on in the video where I said make sure all the other enemies are dead, you need to do this because otherwise if you are in combat and the game thinks you're in combat, you can't save the game. That's why it's important to kill every enemy. So yes with Sasquatch on the floor still alive, do not kill her and create another save. Then guys you can kill her, upon doing this you are rewarded 30k eddies and a ton of street cred xp. Then guys create another manual save but don't overwipe any you have previously made. Now guys load back up that save you just made after killing her. And because this mission hasn't ended, she's somehow still alive. So kill her again to gain the exact same XP and eddies. Then after every time you kill her, save the game again. But this time it's best to overwrite the previous save you made after killing her. Otherwise you're going to have a ton of unnecessary save points. So it's a case of killing her, gaining XP and money, saving it loading that save point back up and repeating the process over and over. And well if this is your kind of thing you may as well rinse and repeat it until you hit that street cred max level of 50. And then continue on with the mission unless you like how efficient this is in earning those eddies too. And if you want you can continue on doing this for as long as you please. Now I was literally getting one street cred level every single time I killed her. So it all just depends on how fast you can save and load the game. For me it was pretty quick but on those older gen consoles it will take longer obviously. Now the reason I said bring a melee weapon is if you run out of ammo you can just simply melee her so you can continue on doing this for as long as you like and it really is that simple guys. So a quick run through of it, get to Sasquatch making sure you've taken out every other enemy in the mall, defeat her by downing her but do not kill her, then create a save point as backup, then just kill her guys. Upon killing her you will get XP and money, then create a save point, then load that save point back up and somehow she's revived. Kill her again, earn the XP and money, create another save point, overwrite in the last one, load it back up, again she's still alive. Kill her again, earn the XP, simply rinse and repeat this process until you get 
or what you need guys and it is as simple as that and on that note guys the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more cyberpunk be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video or upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i'll see you on that next one